Two vehicles pulled from the Ohio River. One had human remains inside and tonight investigators trying to figure out how they got there and who the remains of course belong to. WLWT News 5's Dan Griffin has been following this case all evening in Aberdeen where police are calling the discoveries suspicious. Investigators now have the cars and the remains at the Brown County Sheriff's Office. Witnesses say the cars came out in terrible shape. That's the first vehicle they brought up. Witnesses stood by watching as Ohio Task Force One, Aberdeen Police, and the Brown County Sheriff's Office worked to pull out two cars submerged in the Ohio River. They was all bad. I mean, they look like they've been in there for years. Lisa Highfield was one of the people watching and took this video. She says the mystery of how they got there has everyone scratching their heads. I didn't know if somebody wanted to drove the car in the river on purpose or, or if it was like a suicide thing or, or if somebody did it and pushed the car in the river. Aberdeen police say this started a month ago when a fisherman spotted something in the river with his depth finder near the park boat ramp. Police and fire crews then searched the area but found nothing. Wednesday, Ohio Task Force One came and found two cars 100 yards apart, one with remains inside. Uh, we haven't had any vehicles or uh, any persons reported missing recently uh, that that would be connected with. Police say the cars have been there for years and don't appear to be connected. They're now examining the remains, cars, and looking for clues as to what happened. Highfield hopes the cars or remains could help solve a case, maybe even bring closure to a missing person's family. I feel sorry for him. My condolences to the families and the friends of the people. Aberdeen police expect to have more searches in this area because they believe there could be more cars here. They also plan to consult other agencies to see if the cars pulled out may be connected to open cases. Reporting at Aberdeen, Dan Griffin, WLWT News 5. We